Hats sahel twa gulapu, kelagai at seed stat, to al hickoria apache at seed tabu. Oh, yeah, you shed out the highline call out. Good day. My name is Kayla Gayette. I'm Hickory Apache, and I work here at Highline Schools. Today, I wanted to share with you about really cool posters coming to your school. Some of you might know that November is Native American Heritage Month. During Native American Heritage Month, we like to celebrate Native American culture, history, and people. We thought this would be a great time for your school to receive these posters. Because the posters acknowledge and give thanks to the Native American people of this land, specifically the Muckleshoot Indian tribe. Let's talk about the posters. The poster you will see in your school has a couple of different things I want to talk about. The first is the language. The large text at the top of your poster has a phrase written in Lashootseed. The Lashootse language is a language indigenous to the lands that we live on now. A specific phrase was given to us by the Muckleshoot Tribal Language Department to share in our schools at Highline. Let's learn how to say some of these phrases. The first one on our left, Tad khut cho se dad. Teh du tad khut cho se dad. Protect what you love. The phrase in the middle. Hali chada walach. Hali chada walach. Hali chada walach. I am alive and strong. Our last phrase on the far right. Uyayu sasko. Uyayu sasko. Uyayu sasko. Working together. Next, let's talk about the artwork. Does anyone know what style of art this is? If you guessed Coast Salish, you would be right. Some of us have seen a similar art style called form line. While form line is a style of art Native American or indigenous people use, in the Puget Sound, the traditional artwork style is Coast Salish. We can tell this is Coast Salish art because it uses these three shapes, circles, trigons, and crescents. Can you find some of these shapes in this art? This artwork was created by Donnie Stevenson, who is a Muckleshoot Tribal member and vice chair of the Muckleshoot Tribal Council, which means he is a part of making a lot of big decisions for the Muckleshoot people. Last but not least, let's talk about the small statement at the bottom of this poster. It reads, we honor the ancestral language of these lands and waters and the many tribal peoples who have continued to protect and teach the language. We honor the Muckleshoot Indian Tribe for continuing to partner with Highline Public Schools, which is located within Muckleshoot's usual and accustomed territories. This was an important piece to add to these posters so that visitors, parents, families, and new students who come into your school can learn a bit about the poster as well as the language and art on it. Now that you all know a little more about these posters, I hope you can continue to engage in learning and share the information about the first peoples of this land. Happy Native American Heritage Month.